Hey YouTubers, it's Kenny the Size 79, and I'm doing this quick video on my new LED lights from Innovative Marine. I just purchased them. I purchased two tablets, and um, I got a uh, two 30 watt LED tablets. So uh, the benefits of this is uh, less wattage, obviously, from my 265 watt compact fluorescent. These lights are actually pretty cool. It comes with the uh, mounting brackets for rimless and um, uh, rim, uh, rim uh, aquariums. It also has uh, two moon lights per tablet. So that's a pretty cool uh, setup. Uh, as you can see, there's a nice shimmer effect on the, uh, on the aquarium and good penetration on the corals. Uh, all the corals are doing uh, re really good right now. Uh, as you can see, the shimmer effect in the sand bed. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, I did have to get rid of my green wrasse I had. He was causing uh, uh, too much movement in the sand bed, kicking uh, debris up in the uh, aquarium. And also he was messy with my hermit crabs. I had a good amount of hermit crabs and he he's kind of started eating all of them so I had to get rid of the poor guy but other than that I want to show you the guys the box oh, shoot it's pretty dark let me put it up in the ground maybe you'll see it better of the box of the tablets I, I purchased like I said they're by Innovative Marine and they're called the uh, skylight uh, these these uh, tablets come with a nice mounting bracket for an aquarium and they have an additional bracket for uh, a canopy since I have a canopy uh, the only thing I did not use that I mounted it on with a, a block piece of wood just to create a gap between the uh, the canopy because of the fans they have built-in fans on them I mean these lights are very very bright and the cool thing about them they're only 30 watts so now I'm using 60 watts compared to my old lights I had they were 260 watt compact fluorescent uh, one of the biggest uh, things I've noticed besides the nice shimmer effect is the uh, my chiller um, I live in California and you know sometimes it gets pretty warm out here I have a an addition to my den and um, this room gets pretty warm and these corals uh, close up pretty quickly when the temperature changes in this aquarium and this chiller has not turned on since I had put these new lights in here and today was a pretty fairly warm day. It was about 78 degrees. With those lights on, the water gets warm fast enough that the chiller will turn on. But I mean, everything seems to be acclimating really good to this new light. Most of my corals has accepted the change. And I mean, you can see they're, they're fully open. And uh, like this coral wasn't doing too good with the complex fluorescent but even even with that hermit crab hanging on there let's see if I can focus in this camera's acting kind of weird right now it's doing uh, it's still open and uh, I mean the shimmer effect on this is awesome I'm gonna hit the lights right now I'm gonna show you guys what this tank looks like with the moon lights that it comes with and I'm gonna raise up this can let me show you guys the canopy high mounted on here it might be a little too bright. I mean, look at that. Let me see if I can get towards the back of it. It's going to be very hard. Um, the fans are a little loud. I want to say they're a little loud. With the canopy, it's not too bad. You don't hear nothing. You can hear that something's on, but it's not super, super loud. Um, I, I recommend a canopy. If you guys have canopies for your tank, I think it's the best for these lights because it is a little loud. Um, and of course, I have it hooked up to a timer 
which gives it a, a nice, uh, when 10 o'clock comes around, 940 around my house, and these lights turn off, and it triggers the, uh, those lights turn off. But I just want to show you guys this update, and I wanted to show you guys the box. I mean, I don't know if you guys can pick it up. Nice shimmer effect on the on the on the, on the sand bed. Yeah, guys. So in in the long run, on the long haul, I'm sorry. I will say, I mean, the lights are really little. The LEDs are pretty expensive, pricey, but long haul, I will save a lot of money in uh, electricity. Uh, with my complex fluorescents, I was buying light bulbs every six months. Uh, with these, they're supposed to last seven years. And I've seen reviews on these lights, you know, that might last longer, nine years, even ten years, which I really doubt it. But um, the good thing about it, these lights are local. Something does happen to them. They have a one-year uh, manufacturer warranty on them. And they're in Cerritos. And it's literally about a five-minute drive from my house. So, yeah, I think it's a good buy. I would highly recommend these lights. It just gives it a new, cleaner look to the aquarium. And like I said, the corals look very, very healthy and they're, it looks like they're liking it. Let me turn off the lights so you can see what this tank looks like with the moonlights. Oh, and I also did add three more mangrove trees in there. And these guys are doing pretty good. Let me hit the lights real quick. Ooh. Okay. Let me back up and hit the other lights. So see what I'm talking about. And this is what my tank looks like at night now. And I think this looks awesome looking. Would you look at the shimmer effect on that? So yeah guys, you gotta if you guys could afford to move to LEDs, man, this this is the feature here, guys. This looks pretty damn cool. I'm going to back away and give you a far away look. My camera's having a hard time adjusting. But you look at that. Pretty cool. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys with this video with the uh, new LEDs and just the progress of this aquarium. And guys, uh, appreciate the uh, uh, new subscribers. And... Uh, Give me a thumbs up, man. And uh, this is Can Exercise 79 signing out. Peace.